Wakely here in uh, San Antonio, Texas, and uh, got involved with uh, four in when I went to seminaries in the 80s. So. Starting in the 90s, I uh, started addressing stuff more on climate and uh, uh, environmental justice issues and racial justice issues, how they tie together the climate. And then since then, uh, more evolved and more specific uh, type of activities. Yeah, so. At the time when I was growing up, I think we had seven military bases. This is a military town. I grew up, <laughs> I went to school every year from first grade through 12th grade. I say half the class were kids whose dads were retired generals or retired uh, lieutenant colonels. No, so I know the military culture very well. And I'm an Air Force veteran, Vietnam era. So I, I understand uh, uh, the culture. In fact, we're still in our home right now now to a military veteran so and one of the things i i think too much focus has been and we need to be fighting on many different fronts but just to concentrate on the military and climate change i think it's okay but that's not what's really happening where it's at is in the production the procurement of the weapons they together, when they're building the planes, the boats, the you know all of that, the tanks, they emit more emissions than the actual militaries do. So I think uh, as much as we put into, if, if we're really concerned about climate change, we need to start looking in terms of that whole complex addressing the procurement of the production and procurement of those weapons. And I think, uh, but that's going to require political will. And right now, I don't think uh, the governments around the world really have that political will to do something about it. We need to concentrate on Congress. That's where we should be putting our effort, changing Congress. We need to start looking at not the Democrats, not the Republicans are not going to solve that. Again, I think people need to become more politically active on the national stage. Those of us that are older know the Vietnam War. What changed it? What changed it when you had 250,000, 300,000 people marching in cities after city all across the country? And we did that without any social media. So if we could pull out hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people on the Vietnam War in the 60s and 70s. Today, with social media, I see no reason why you can't mobilize a million people to march against climate change. 